1 John 4, 19 We love because he first loved us. I am at a mall with my husband and children, my little children, and it has been a fun morning just hanging out and the kids love seeing all the things to look at in all the stores. There's a children's museum where they get to go in and play. We had a great time with that and we've just been walking around. We had some lunch and it's almost time to go, but there's a play area right in the middle of the mall for children. They just, it's a little gated area. They get to go in for free and the kids really want to do that. They just get to climb and have a great time. So we walk in there and the kids just start jumping and running around to their heart's content with the other children. And my husband and I look over and over in the corner, there are two massage chairs a little ways off in kind of a quiet corner. And I look at my husband like, may I do that, please? <laughs> he says, yeah, I think you should. I think that'd be really good for you. And I start walking over and I see another wife looking over at her husband because she sees me going and she's asking the same question. Could I go do that? <laughs> we kind of smile at each other and we walk over together and we just talk a little bit. She's kind of an exuberant, fun type person. She makes me feel like she's my good friend. <laughs> We've only said about 10 words to each other, but we are excited to have a little break. Their children are over there playing too. The husbands are watching the kids, and we are just going to sit and have a break. And I sit down in the black leather chair, and I put in my credit card, and I get to choose how long I want. And I go for 15 minutes. That sounds pretty good. And I sit back. And this chair totally envelops me. It envelops my legs all the way down to my feet. And I put my arms inside of it. And ev there's even a place to put my hands down. And it goes up around my neck a little bit too. It, it almost could feel claustrophobic, but I know it's going to feel really good. So it's, I don't feel that way at all. I can see how somebody might feel that way though, but... So it starts up right away and there are these little, I can tell they're like two balls that kind of move around and sometimes they twirl around and sometimes they just go up and down and um, it just depends on what it's doing. But wow, it starts in on my back and it goes up, 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 up. Oh, that feels so good. It goes between my shoulder blades. It just... Is sticking to the sides of my spine. Uh, all the way up to my neck. Oh, that feels so good. And then it starts kneading the sides of my neck and down my shoulders a little bit. Whoa. Oh, that feels so good. And just stays there for a minute. Oh, man. That feels good. And while I'm sitting there, I notice there's some light Christmas music on in the mall hallway and I hear the children's laughter off a little ways oh but it feels so good on my neck and shoulders that's what I'm focusing on right now and so it's just gently going back to my back and then I notice it's starting to knead my legs a little bit and my calves and it squeezes my calves and then lets them go and then squeezes them and it kind of the rollers kind of go around oh that feels good and so it keeps going on my back a little bit and it keeps doing different types of movements but it is so relaxing and the chair is kind of tilted back and it just feels so good and I I hear the lady next to me enjoying herself too <laughs> 
<laughs> we kind of laugh at each other. Like, this is so nice. And I can even feel it on my palms and my fingers and my arms. Oh, but it feels so good going up and down my back. And it's going around my hips a little bit. And then it gets a little too close to my butt and I kind of squirm and laugh for a minute and she laughs at me. She's like, yeah, that's a little much, but it, thankfully the it goes back down. So that's a little tickly. And uh, it's so relaxing and it's kneading my lower back. Oh, it feels so good. It goes back up my back and up to my neck again needs around on my neck my shoulders ah uh, i am like in utter relaxation right now and i look over at my <clears throat> i glance over to the side and i see that my husband has made friends with this lady's husband and they're talking and I just stop worrying about anything, and it just feels so good. Oh, the way it's moving along my spine. Oh, yeah. And it just occasionally will <clears throat> squeeze my calves and the little balls going along my palm and fingers. Oh, man, this feels really nice after a day of walking around. And I really like just letting my mind do what it wants, not asking, answering any questions, just letting it do what it wants to do. I'm not thinking about anything, I'm just enjoying the massage. Ah, oh, it feels so good. My muscles are in utter relaxation. Mm. And before I know it, the machine stops and <laughs> my 15 minutes are over. Oh man, that felt good, I say. And I look over and the, the lady's massage is just ending. She's like almost dropping out of the chair asleep. She's so relaxed. <laughs> we just kind of laugh. She kind of laughs out loud. She's such a fun, jolly person. And we look over to see where our husbands are. And we see that they're walking over with the kids. And the kids are all excited and running around their legs. And they have um, coffees or some sort of warm drinks. And they have a couple. And e they each have a couple drinks. And they bring them over with big smiles. And they say, we thought you ladies would enjoy these hot cocos. Oh, thank you. I <laughs> see you you guys met each other and we all introduce ourselves and we're just talking about how nice that massage was. And we sip our hot cocoa. Ooh, that's good. And has whipped cream on it. And my little girl wants to try it and she takes a little sip and she has a big whipped cream spot on her nose. <laughs> so cute. Uh, and everybody's just happy and relaxed, and I feel really, really good after that massage. Oh, man. Oh, I could take a nap, I think, but I I probably better not. <laughs> we still have to drive home, but oh, that felt good. And I take all of this into my future, and it is morning time, and the kids and I are just getting around, they're getting dressed, and it's such a happy morning. And I walk outside into the brisk November air, and I pick up little kitten pretzel, our little fluffy black kitten. He's so cute and cuddly, and his purr box works so well. <laughs> and I pick him up, and I put his little forehead up to mine and I kiss his little furry cheek. Oh, he's so cute. And I hold him like a little baby with his tummy up. <laughs> I use my fingers to just 
tickle his little tummy and rub his little head. Oh, he's so sweet. And he has this cute little white patch on his tummy. That's his only little white patch. And he is, we call him the happiest cat in the world because you can do anything to him and he's so happy. He, he, he always looks like he's completely relaxed and the, it's almost like he has a little smile on all the time. He's so cute and fluffy. I hate to tear myself away from him, but I give him another little quick kiss on the furry cheek and I plop him down and I head back inside to see the kids. There's my little guy, my little two-year-old that's getting close to three. And he runs as fast as he can when he sees me come in the door. Mommy! He says, balloons, balloons. And we have a balloon out <laughs> that one of the kids had gotten out and we blew it up. And he loves balloons and so he wants to hit the balloon back and forth with me. So we hit it and he starts laughing a belly laugh. <laughs> There's something so funny about a balloon to him. And he makes me laugh. Oh, he's so cute. And we hit it back and forth and he's running all over the place. And the other kids run out to see what's going on. And they're like laughing too. It's so hard not to laugh when someone else is laughing a belly laugh. And they all run over to me and give me big, big hugs and kisses on the cheeks. Oh, I love them so much. They're so sweet. And I tell them, okay, you know what to do. Go get dressed. And they run to go get dressed. And I take my little two-year-old guy and say, what do you want for breakfast? And he says, apples. <laughs> I say, well, how about applesauce? He says, applesauce. I say, okay, let's do some applesauce. And do you like eggs? Eggs. Okay, let's do that. That sounds good. I start making the eggs. And we get some applesauce out and we even warm it up and it's some homemade applesauce. Ooh, it's so good when it's warm. And the other kids run in and they're so much fun. They're at such a fun age. They have so many questions and I just love answering them and talking to them. And they just have the cutest things to say. So we all sit down together. We have the Christian radio station on in the background and we're just talking about our day and what we're going to do and we're all so excited about the day and we're eating our warm applesauce and our yummy warm eggs with a runny yolk oh it's so good mm, I have my hot tea and I'm sipping it and the kids are drinking some milk and they're just really enjoyed it. They have their milk mustaches, so they're so cute, and I feel so good and relaxed and happy. I feel really happy 